The Ministry of Youth Development and Sports has realized that there is need to re-energize and reflect its mission. And so in the last few months, the Ministry has embarked on a number of initiatives to increase its functioning and especially its public image. These include preparation of a strategic plan, adoption of a communication strategy, redesigning of its elite and emerging athlete program, the designing of a new website, and the adoption of the use of all social media platforms. As part of our assessment, the ministry has found it fitting to brand itself in an effort to stand out from the other government ministries and or departments. It is our hope that the rebranding and the adoption of this logo will create a refreshing new look for the ministry, thereby helping us to connect with the youth. We also hope that it will allow us to support and align with the youth and will give the ministry an identity or image that the young people can identify with. Today marks an exciting new day for us as a ministry. We're on our way to launching a new identity. Whilst we're excited to unveil our new logo, unfortunately, today will just be the prize-giving ceremony. As we set out to brand and create a new face for our ministry, it was imperative that we matched our visual identity with our overarching mission of young people striving for excellence and flying the flag of St. Lucia. I wish to thank our committee members for their unwavering support during the process, Mrs. Isabel Alexander Markey, Mr. Nixon Barry, Ms. Sarah Lee Williams, and Ms. Centros, Bernal Centros. Thank you for your input. To the management and staff of the ministry for the final suggestions to ensure that the logo was one we would all embrace and be proud of. To Mr. Brandon Scott, thank you for agreeing to allow us to use part of your logo in the final product. Mr. Cauldron, I wish to thank you for your patience and commitment and your resilience to the many changes we had to ensure that our final logo encompassed all that we desired. I know I had you back and forth, back and forth until we had a final logo, but we are indeed proud of the final product. In closing, I wish to congratulate all of you and to thank you, all of the young artists who eagerly submitted pieces to the logo competition. It gives me great pleasure to be here this morning for this eagerly anticipated announcement of the winners of the logo design competition for the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. Here we are today. I'm presenting to the winners, you know, your, your prizes. Whilst we continue to use the coat of arms for all government agencies, we felt it necessary to brand the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. So against this backdrop, we threw out that challenge that you took you know, with open arms. And we are told that about 70 individuals on island responded to the challenge. And um, as far as I'm told, well, I should say, say as far as I can see, that it's a beautiful logo. And, and I'm sure the whole of St. Lucia will embrace it. I am certain that the winners, well, all of you are winners, even if you place third, will be proud to know that he has contributed to the development of what will become such an important tool for the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports. I am also told that both the first place and the, and, and the third place um, logos were used as the final representative logo. And DPS told you that while the logo will not be unveiled today, it is my hope that it will become a face by which the ministry becomes known. This means that the logo will be included in all stationery, paraphernalia, shirts, and in all print and digital media associated with the ministry. And this is going to continue for a long time to come. So, so your mark at the ministry will be shown for a very, very, very long time to come. Until, on, until somebody decides, let us change the logo. 
Now I'm told that this logo is so nice that we all want to change it. <laughs> Special thanks to the ministry who took the time out to ensure that this initiative became a reality. Um, so we have the saying, teamwork really makes the dream work. Today, however, we shine the spotlight on, on these three individuals who were selected as the finalists in the logo design competition. So I have your names written down here. I'm very proud of you. So your finalists, Mr. Neil John, Mr. Stuart Cauldron, and Mr. Brandon Scott. I would like to congratulate you on your efforts. It is always fascinating when our young people are called upon and they respond in a very positive light. Um, a lot of instances in, in St. Lucia, our young individuals are known for bad things that happen there in society. And we are happy that we are able to engage you away from that sort of ills. So congratulations again. May God continue to richly bless you. And we look forward you know, to seeing you perform in other spheres that would help develop your country. My interest in the competition was not only driven by my liking of graphic design, but also the fact that I'm a fellow sportsman as well who has represented this country, St. Lucia, in cricket in the past. And would also love to see many other, many other youth take part in that. Not only cricket, of course, but other sports as well. And what I basically was trying to keep was just the, of course, aesthetic appeal, but also portraying the best way I could the, um, our country values and, of course, um, including the country colors. The conversation with my fellow competitors today and teammates. The main things we try to portray in the logo, as we could all agree, is the how we try to keep com togetherness. And, and I, would, I was pleased to be able to work with these other two gentlemen as there was a combination, I believe, with Brandon, um, his addition to the final logo piece, which of course added um, more to the, to the logo itself. <laughs> Alright, and for, for, um, for fellow graphic designers, upcoming graphic designers, we wish to take on this role or this job. Um, it's only keep in mind having confidence and always never being afraid to express yourself, both in your work and in your words, with your client. And not everyone will agree with your first piece, the first few pieces, but just continuing and bearing with them, as Miss Charlemagne said, always being resilient and having the patience to continue and go on.